Hello, goal setters. Man, you look good today. What an awesome day. I'm headed home right now. Um, so full of excitement, enthusiasm. I've got um, some great things happening and moving smartly toward my goals, as I hope you are. So I want to talk today a little bit about journaling because it's so important. It's such an important part of the 3x5 goal setting system is journaling. But before I do that, I just wanted to say, I was looking down because I can see on my phone an image of myself and I see this little uh, goal card poking up out of my pocket and I thought to myself, we're bringing back the nerd. That's it. 3x5goals.com is bringing back the nerd. We're going to start wearing these. People are going to start seeing these as... um, you know, something they're proud of. These are my goals, and it kind of sticks up over your pocket. I'm kind of a geek right now. Okay, sorry about that. We'll get some, uh, you know, glasses in there, and some pens, and, you know, uh, maybe a protractor or something. But most importantly, you've got these in your pocket. Or, you know what, if you don't want to be a nerd, that's fine, I get it. Stick them in your purse, stick them in your back pocket. I, I, a lot of times I'll stick it in my pants pocket. They're so great because you take them anywhere. They're really small. It slips into any kind of pocket or journal. It can be. I use it as a bookmark sometimes on the books that I'm reading. Anyways, I got on a little bit of a tangent there, but just wanted to share that thought with you. So journaling, back to the topic. Journaling, why journaling and how it fits into the 3x5 goal setting program. Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm here to answer. So at the end of the, I don't know, some kind of a time period, you can pick whatever you want. I do it about once a month is all because it's it's just not worth doing it more often because um, I just don't have tons of things that I write down. But every so often, and I'm glad I hit a stoplight right now because I can pull this out and show you. Uh, Here's one. So I have two, one for today and one for tomorrow. This is the one that I'm working on right now. And you can see right here at the in this little area is a creative space. And that's where I write down my thoughts, my ideas. Um, there were some things that I wanted to share with my kids that I wrote in there. There was a couple of analogies that I had that I uh, came up with, I think, while I was listening to a podcast. And um, this is where I wrote down the law of the gumball machine. You've probably listened to that. If you haven't, you ought to. It's kind of an interesting idea that I had. But sometimes they're product ideas. Sometimes they're ways of doing things. Sometimes it's something funny, something that strikes me funny. But I want everyone to be an idea junkie. And writing these down is you saving ideas. And that is so important because your goals have everything to do with an idea with ideas. And that's why my system, this 3x5 goals system, integrates ideas with, and and journaling, with your goals. I don't know of any other system that does that. And the reason for that is because every problem is one idea away from being solved. And as you're moving forward towards your goals, you're going to encounter all kinds of problems. But you also need to explore ideas because you may, you, may be, you may find that you're heading down the wrong track and you get an idea and, and it turns out to be better than what you were doing previously. And so ideas are amazing things, you know, and they're very fleeting. They're like, they're like tissue in the wind. You, they come and they hang out just a little bit. They just flirt with your brain just a little. This is how ideas, the most the most powerful, amazing ideas will do that. And you don't even necessarily know that they're a great idea until you've had a chance to explore it. But nonetheless, if you get an idea, anything, anything at all, write it down. That's what this part of the goal setting card is for. You get a new space every day. So it doesn't look like a lot, but because you get a new slate every day, it turns out to be a lot. So you take these and you file them. So at the end of the day, I get back, get to my dresser. I've got a little area where I put all my 3x5 cards. At the end of the day, I just file them next to my desk. And they sit there until I journal. Okay? I journal. So I've got, uh, it's just a Word document. I do it on Word because I like to search back through. Um, 
I'll have ideas, I'll have product ideas, and I'll write them down like that, so it kind of labeled. And if I ever want to go back through and just scan different ideas that I've had, I can easily do that inside of a Word document, find feature. So you go to Word, click on the other little find uh, magnifying glass up in the corner, and you type in a keyword or two, and you can go back and you can find thoughts and ideas or something that's funny, you, you know, whatever you're looking for. So if you have a presentation coming up, and you have to, had some funny thoughts that you wrote down, easy to find, you go back through, and this becomes your journal. Not your journal in the sense, it's, it's a kind of a second, a, a separate journal from like, you know, dear diary, today was this, I'm down on myself because of that, I'm going through this, uh, you know, emotional ups and downs, friends, family, experiences, life, you know, that's, that's the journal that we all think of when we say your journal, but this is a three by five journal. Okay, not the size, but the topic. It's three by five journal. You're gonna journal everything. So you're gonna take all these cards and you're gonna stick them in this little area. And once a month or so, you're gonna sit down, you're gonna have about 30 cards. If you're doing this every day, which you should be, I'm not 100% diligent yet. I'm, I miss sometimes. Don't tell anyone, but I do. But I'm getting better. And I get most days. Most days I fill these out. So um, I've got a lot. At the end of the month, I've got, you know, close to somewhere around 30. And then when I have about, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes um, on, you know, like a Sunday morning or something, then I'll sit down, I'll look at the stack. It's getting big. Start pulling them out. And I, I write in the date. And then I write in all the thoughts from that, from this part of the card, the creative portion of the card, the purple. I take and I write out all the thoughts and then I set the card down I write the thoughts of the next one I set the card down I go through until the whole stack is gone is empty I've written down all the thoughts and ideas and everything that I've written I've transcribed it I've recorded it it's now in Word and it's on Dropbox or Google Drive or wherever you keep your files and it's archives it is set and it ain't going nowhere so now you can take the, the 3 by 5 cards and you can throw them away I know Nobody likes to throw away their 3x5 cards because, you know, you've, you've become quite attached. And I understand, but it's all right. Let it go. So you can toss them, and uh, it just cycles through. So that's how the system works. Now, this is where it gets cool, is whenever you get bored or depleted or you need some ideas or you're stuck and you just need to, you know, exercise your brain, you just pull out your journal, your 3x5 journal, I've been doing this for nine years now, and sometimes I'll go back to, you know, 2010, for example, or 2012, and I'll just start scanning through and reading. And you'll be, you'll laugh because some of the ideas you thought were so great at the time, and you reread them, and you're like, "What, what was I? What, I don't even understand it. I don't, what did I write down?" I, I've, I've done that a few times. Admittedly, I have. All right, I'll just, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just saying, I have done it a few times where I thought something was really great enough to write down at least and then later I didn't even understand what I wrote it was so ridiculous but you never know sometimes you get crazy thoughts and then other times I go back through and I read and I re uncover I uncover thoughts that had been buried so new ideas things that I oh wow that was pretty good I'm so glad that I saved that I can use it in an upcoming presentation, or I can use that, you know, that joke somewhere, or I can, uh, that's, there's an idea, I, um, one of my side hustles, I love to invent products, I, I'm an inventor, and uh, I'm in the licensing game, I love licensing and inventing products, and so a lot of my, some of my, some of my ideas are product ideas, and I'll write them down, and I'll think, I'll get, get back to it later when I have time, and then sometimes when I sit down and reread, it comes back into my memory, a product idea or a thought or whatever, and maybe it's the right time to now pick up and start running with that, right? So journaling your ideas is so important for that reason. You've got to journal. Now, the, the habit of journaling is a good one anyways. Everyone should be journaling no matter what. It's writing, right? You've got to write. It's good for thought expression. It's good for creativity. It's good for flow. It's good for so many things to, to just sit down and start writing. You know, you might be bad at writing. You might say, no, you know, it's not for me. I'm not a good writer. It doesn't even matter. You don't have to share your ideas with anybody. You don't have to publish it. You don't have to put it on Facebook. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can just write 
for the sake of writing. Well, this kind of forces you to do that because you've got some ideas here. And idea, one idea, how much, how much worth can you put on a single idea? You know, Victor Hugo, Hugo said it best. He said, there's nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. So when ideas come and go and we don't capture them, that's opportunity lost. It's opportunity lost, and it's such a devastating thing. So capture your ideas, write them down. It may not be the right time to pursue one of them. Maybe it's a business idea, it's a new way of doing things, it's a new invention, it's a, new, it's a book I love with tons of book ideas. I've got so many book ideas that I'm never gonna get to, but I love writing them down just because they're fun. They're interesting. It gets my brain going, it makes my brain happy. It gets you to a new place. Just in the expansion of thought, exploring new ideas, new, new uh, ways of doing things, or new—it's just—it's such a creative game. So get in the habit of writing things down. Your brain will love you for it. And when ideas come, and you write them down, more ideas come. That is a true principle. If you haven't experienced it yet, try it. You will. Creativity is a muscle that you can exercise. And if you're good at writing ideas down, you get some out of your brain, put some on paper. Your brain is not meant to be a warehouse. It's meant to be a factory. It's meant to produce ideas. And when you get them down and journal and get them on paper, get some out of your brain, you can now revisit whenever you want, as you see fit. You may never get to it. It may just sit there forever and do nothing. And a lot of ideas do. But the good ones, that you would have forgotten had you not written them down will be there and when the time is right you'll come across it again and you'll say to yourself oh my gosh wow this I've got to I've got to jump in and do this right now things perfectly line you never know when that's gonna happen so journal I can't stress it enough get your three by five cards and journal if you don't if you don't use mine just get blank ones or whatever you can go to 3 by 5 goals.com you can see how the whole system works love to have you join in and comment below jo- uh, share this I, I, I know I'm, we're building a community of people who set goals the simple way and I'm so glad you're listening I'm so glad you're part of this journey and I'm so glad that you agree with me because I know you do that journaling is absolutely critical. You've got to write stuff down. You've got to journal. It'll change your life, I promise. Have an amazing day.